submitted an IAS, isn't surely would that not have supposed to have detailed all those things about road easements and access and all that sort of stuff? If it hasn't, then why is it even allowed to get contemplated? That's basically the question. If, if there's so such a lacking of detail, why can't we just demand from the state politicians that this is just ridiculous? Um, no. So, why? Kathy's prepared for just the point you raised. Okay. Yes. The process that this, um, that this proposal has gone through is that it's been submitted to the, um, the State Coordinator General's Office, and that's the initial advice statement that they actually sent in, saying basically outlining their concept, and you can see uh, there's a blue folder over here. You can flick through it, it's about 130 pages long. You've seen it online. Yeah, seen it online. Yeah. Now, that's just the first stage in a, pro in a process. Um, if they hadn't done that, they would have had to go around all the government departments, the State Department of Environment and Heritage, then they would have needed to go to the DNR, which is the Natural Resources People. They would have had to go to the federal government. This is the reason why the frog is so important here, because it brings the federal government in. They administer and act. Environmental Protection and Biodiversity Control Act. So instead of, uh, and then they would have to go to the council, and there's a couple of other places they would have had to go as well. So instead of them having to run around and coordinate all that, the state government has accepted that the state government will now coordinate all this. So it's a real advantage to them to have had this approved through the state coordinator. Yeah, but it doesn't actually meet their requirements because... But it's just the first stage. What yeah. they have to do now is they need to write an environmental impact statement. They need to describe how they're going to manage all of the effects of... and how they're going to supply the water, what they're going to do with the sewage, how they're going to deal with the roads. They're going to have to put all of that into the uh, environmental impact statement. They're going to have to deal with the social impacts in our town. They're going to have to deal with the imp uh, economic impacts as well of the whole area. And they're going to have to actually support it with a, you know, some economic study. They're going to have to support what they're going to do with um, studies by uh, botanists and um, uh, people who've done fauna surveys. They're going to have to do and spend a lot of money. They're probably going to have to spend a couple of million doing that. The state government gets to uh, write a recommendation report. First of all, we are able to submit on the terms of reference for the uh, IA, uh, sorry, EIS, Environmental Impact Statement. Uh, that's going to come out probably very shortly, maybe even next week. Uh, we'll have 20 days to submit on that. That'll go back to the state government, so I definitely would advise everybody to keep up to speed and we'll certainly be emailing out information about how to respond to those draft terms of reference. The state government will then look at them, um, form what they believe the terms of reference should be, they'll send it to the federal government, they will look at it and make sure that it's covering all the things that they're concerned about, so in particular it will be cassowary, frog and all the other endangered species that there are, foals etc on that block. Uh, and then it will be um, signed off by the federal government and then again by the state government and sent out to the proponents to actually to um, basically um, do their report. And that will probably take them upwards of a year. Now it's every chance that they'll just put in a very shoddy EIS and I don't know that I'm actually speaking out of turn, it does seem that this is the way that things are done, that they don't put in a complete one. We get to submit on that and say this is missing, that's missing. And then they will be told to go and do it again, or at least expand on what they've done. And we may or may not get a chance to submit on that second round. That's, yeah, that's ridiculous. But